Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Here on Felsbrunn. We, I know I said that, uh, I said last time we were going to try to stay up here on top of the mountain today, but, uh, well, we went broke overnight. Quite a bit of operating costs overnight. And we got some eggs here we can sell. The uh, reason I want to sell them and get some money is because Farmer Min, I talked to him last night, and he was saying how the cedar he bought was too little for what he's doing now that he's expanded his fields and combined them and stuff. Um, really stepping up his operation, so he needs a needs a bigger planter. So he made us a pretty good deal on his uh, agrimoss that he has. So uh, I think he said he wanted 14.5 for it. I think that's what he said. We'll have to check, but um, sounded like a pretty good deal. So um instead of going and bugging Jeff at the bank we'll uh we'll see if we can come up with that money on our own and then I woke up this morning come to check on the chickens uh we cleaned them up a little bit man those guys getting messy overnight and look okay, it's already back again so yeah come to check on those and noticed I had five boxes of eggs down here so I figured that'd be a good way to start the day I've never done that um you know pretty cool little thing and they're over, I looked at the price, is over $3,000. I'm assuming $3,000 a box. Slide that over. Glitch out on the tailgate. Yeah, so, um, I mean, we're looking at right at $15,000 here. That's not bad for the chickens. We are making a little bit of money from chicken. How about that? Um, at that rate, definitely, definitely worth, oh, no. I thought I'd let that box go. <laughs> Let's put a strap on them. Those are scrambled eggs right there. Don't worry about that. Uh, you don't have to pay extra for those. That's just a, a Jockey Ink special right there. All right. That was a weird camera collision. Um, yeah, what was that camera collision? There's nothing there. Huh. Yeah, it's doing it again. Oh, because of the chicken coop. All right, so yeah, we got those... Scrambled eggs strapped in there on top of the other ones. Let's take this thing. Oop, don't jump out. Let's ride down to the bottom of the map. See if we can get there before the price changes. I don't know what, really how prices fluctuate on 19. I haven't been watching them closely enough. Uh, try not to tip over. Whoa. We almost crashed our eggs there. That would be bad. Anyways. Let's, uh, let's take these down the mountain. Get them sold. And we're going to swing by Farmer Men's with our money. We'll at least pay him for... What in the world is happening? We'll at least pay him for the eggs. Uh, I mean, from the money we get from the eggs. We'll pay him for the cedar. And we'll, we'll see if the old Mahindra here can pull that cedar. I doubt, doubt I can pull it up the mountain. But, yeah. Maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. That'd be nice if we didn't have to make another trip. So, I'll do that. I'll run down the mountain and catch up with you when... At least on the way to Farmer Men's. Um to see about getting our new cedar and see if I can get down there without flipping it doesn't look good does it we're not off to a good start but I will catch you guys later all right we did make it back down to the shop hey old big papa what's happening yonk the horn at him uh, let's see they said go past the shop take a left at the shop go past the shop and take a left I bet it's that left right there. And then at the roundabout, take a left. Pretty oh, confusing there. There's a roundabout. Let's take a left on the roundabout. Go the wrong way. Make everybody mad. We might have to stop looking at a map. I don't know exactly where we're going here. Ooh, stop sign. Gotta be an egg cell point around here somewhere. Oh, there's our tag. Look at that. I thought we had a money cheat box at first. Man, wouldn't that be nice? I guess we'll just follow the beacon then. Ah, pretty cool. I didn't know they were going to put the bat signal out for us. That's, that's pretty impressive. Still over here. It said port southeast. I don't think that's the road. Let's back up here. We'll go this way. Give this a try. 
nice to get the hang of the town get the drive around a little bit get the layout there we go definitely the right way got the old Grand Theft Auto mission complete symbol down there just have to drive into the green we're gonna have to find a way into this place pretty fancy operation they got here for some eggs I don't know what they're doing with these eggs they are paying top dollar for them I know that for three thousand dollars I'm hoping a box um hoping per box I don't know exactly what the quantity is but it's just listed as three thousand you know something in the menu so let's we'll see what happens here anything happen hey they did happen Maybe I'm not up far enough. Okay. Well, that's not working. Hmm. Where do we sell our eggs? Right, we're at Port Southeast. And there under the menu is Port Southeast under the eggs, $3,059. And climbing. Might not hurt us to wait a little bit. But what is this? We may have to turn the help menu on. Huh. I really thought we would just pull up here and they'd sell kind of like wool, I guess. That's what I assumed would happen. Hello? Anybody around? Anybody here? Anybody want some eggs? You got any bacon? We can have some breakfast. Uh, Alright. Well, um, I'm going to go look around and see if I can go inside and talk to somebody. Wake somebody up awful quiet here this morning. We want some money. We're here to, here to collect. I don't see any other cell points. All right, let me see what I can do. I will uh, we'll come back out and grab these eggs if we can find somebody to give them to. We'll catch you in a minute. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't understand chickens, as it turns out. I have no idea how this works. So I just happened to kick one of the boxes that was laying down here, and the whole box sold for ninety nine dollars. So I picked up the one that was beside it and dropped it. And it sold for $459. And I got the other three boxes out and put them down. And they sold each of them for less than $99. We made five boxes of eggs. We made $1,100. I don't, I don't understand. I don't. The price per thousand liters, $3,000. How much, how many eggs are a thousand liters? I don't. I have any idea how that works. But, I mean, that's where we're at. Okay, so $1,100. We are not going to be buying a cedar today. We'll have to tell Mr. Min that that did not work out as we planned. I'm... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, granted, if you keep the bigger picture in mind, it's, it's just eggs. How much did you think they were going to sell for? But... I just don't understand the pricing there on the thing. And I also don't understand how come the prices were so vastly different when I sold them. I don't... One was $459. The next one, less than $100. Uh, one, the first one was 99 I don't... Okay. Um, moving forward. I guess we will head back up the map and get back to work once we get up top there. We got quite a traffic jam here. What are these guys doing? I think this was the turn we were supposed to take. Whoa. <sighs> this, this game is frustrating sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna go. 
<laughs> I'm going to get back up the mountain. We'll catch up with you up there. All right. We are almost back down to Farmer Men's. Um, man, I had to have a little pity party after my my egg selling debacle there. Uh, I guess, I mean, I'm not as upset about the $3,000 part. I mean, that, I, that was going to be ludicrous money if that was for every box. I get that. But the problem was I, all five boxes sold for different prices. Not one of them were the same. Um, you know, I could understand if it was like wool pellets and they had to fill up and, and I sold one box that wasn't complete, I would get that too. But even in that case, the other four boxes should have been the same price. But either way, we're over that. We're moving on. Um, we did, <laughs> to make ourselves feel better, we did go see Jeff at the bank. And uh, what, a, what a great guy. Um, not only did he give us some more money, but he gave us a, a coffee mug and a hat. Man, I tell you, what a town. I really like it here. All right. There's Farmer Man over there. <laughs> He's jumping up and down. Hey, buddy. Let me get out and give him a jump here. <laughs> <laughs> say hi that's our that's our usual greeting we're gonna jump in the agrimoss here i think he left this here for us we're gonna grab that and let's see we owe him some money yeah so let's go okay he's checking us out making sure we're not doing anything not approved there transfer money we got ten thousand Fourteen five. There you go. We just transferred him fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. We are gonna take oh it even has some seed in it. Nice. Very good. We're not gonna give that back either. We're not gonna say anything about that. That's just part of the bonus there. So, very good. We have a plow, we have a cultivator, now we have a cedar, so we're business up on top of the mountain. We're getting there. We're getting what we need. Um, what's the traffic jam for up here? I tell you on this map, there's traffic chooses to stop in the weirdest places. Just for no reason. Huh. Unless there was a crazy man coming through here a minute ago. That might have been the case. They might be hiding for their lives. Um... I swear I saw him come through here. Ah, oh, there he is over there. Oh, we're going to crash looking at him. Pay attention. All right, we're going to go back up on the mountain. Uh, you know what? Since we're here, we could fill it up with seed. Hmm. And fertilizer. Let's do that. That way when we get up top, we could rock and roll. Get ready to, to go. Make sure this thing plants grass. Yeah, there you go. Make sure it does what we're going to need it to do. Yeah, we might as well go back and see Farmer Men here. Go talk to Big Papa. See if we can borrow his forklift and, and get some seed. Oh, look at that fancy thing. Wow. Look at that. That is a nice piece of machinery there. I wonder how much he paid for that thing. I'm sure that wasn't cheap. <laughs> That's silly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Big Papa, and uh, get us some fertilizer sorted out, and uh, see what else kind of deals he has. See if any other offers we can't refuse. Um, I think that's his office. He said it was the big one. I think it's this one. I'll be right back. All right. Big Papa hooked us up just like he always does. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, it's fun to watch a good salesman work, isn't it? You know he's giving you the business, but you just can't help it. You like the guy anyway, and you, you want to give him your money. So he talked us into buying this loading wagon. Uh, didn't even know we needed it, but it will come in handy. Uh, says Stroutman. I mean, uh, I use those things a lot on South Mountain Creamery, so I like that. It's a good product there. Made us a good deal on it. We can't turn that down. Um, we do need to borrow his forklift, though get these pallets out of the way uh, so farmer men doesn't have to, to drive around them or anybody else you know get those things moved off to the side here and um, yeah I know DJ says he doesn't like this thing but I really enjoy using this thing I think it works pretty snazzy 
So we'll just take put them in this parking spot right here. We'll pull the cedar over. Whatever we can fill up, we'll leave here. Um, and come back and grab. I need to probably do need to do a delivery mission where I just get a bunch of herbicide and fertilizer, both liquid and uh, solid, and just run them up the mountain so we'll have them um, instead of you know having to run back and forth every time we need some. We may as well just get us a big flat trailer, stack a bunch of bunch of pallets, and make one trip. So I think that'd be the better better course of action there. Make a mess stacking these, aren't we? Grab the fertilizer. Those were the seed pallets. I think I got my fork stuck in the side there. That's alright. We'll just slide it off right here. This forklift is really loud. Uh oh stuck on there. There it goes. It was stuck on something underneath of it. Grab one more, move it out of the way, just just to be nice. You don't want to be that guy that leaves your stuff all over public lot. There we go. Alright, we'll uh I'll grab the fertilizer, bring it, or sorry, the cedar, bring it over here, fill up what we can, but like I said, we'll just leave the rest, spinning tires pulling out of there, pull the forklift back over here, I'm sure it's nice and big popper to let us use it, and park it back where we, well not where we found it, because we took that parking spot, but pretty close, I think it'll be okay, whoa, don't lift it up. Turn that loud thing off, goodness. Needs to put a new muffler on that thing, I think. Maybe get an electric one or a, a propane one. I think it's louder than our 6 Series here. Um, so there you go. We'll do that. We will uh -oh. We will crash into that thing. I hope Big Papa wasn't looking out the window. He's going to start charging us more. So, yeah. Let me fill this up. Run it back to the top of the mountain. And... Uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. You ever get that feeling you're being followed? Just trying to drive up your own, you know, up to the top of your mountain. All by yourself. <laughs> and here comes this guy. Stalking us. He's got big green behind us. He is outrunning us for sure. We are struggling up this hill. <laughs> look at, oh, look at this guy. He is bringing our loading wagon up for us. That is a top-notch neighbor right there. Look at this guy. Always willing to help out. I tell you what, folks. You don't get much better than that former men guy. That is a top-notch neighbor right there. Everybody should be so lucky. Very, very cool. Saved us a trip down there. I love it. That's awesome. We're going to have to do something nice for him. Do a, do a favor for Mr. Min. Kind of a, a payback for him. Oh, speaking of favors. Yeah, he told me why the... I figured out why the truck is up here. He has uh, his way of apologizing for the rant he went on when he thought we stole his side-by-side. -side. Uh, he, he gave us the truck. This is an old truck. I mean, it's, a, it's an old one. It's not brand new, but man, that thing is in good shape. Sounds great when it runs. And it's got the little cucaracha horn on it. What a good guy. He's, I tell you what, he's something else. Okay, I'm going to park it for us. You can't beat that. I tell you what. Can't beat that. Jump out here. Give him the old jump. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He gives us the jump back. There you go. Two jumps. One for good measure. I like it. Very cool. Yeah, we'll have to figure out something we can do for him. Make his life a little easier. That was very cool. Let's see. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do the rest of the day. we got a bunch of plowing, a bunch of cultivating, a bunch of fertilizing, a bunch of sowing. Basically, 
bunch of work. Let's turn this off for now. Oh, Mr. Min is here. <laughs> He's sneaking around. I see you over there. <laughs> he wants to play hide and seek, I think. So yeah, he come over and left us the truck. That is awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. I see something in here too. He bring us a box of eggs. Man, he must have really felt bad. I don't know what kind of rant he went off on, but he really must have let us have it. He is feeling a little guilty. Oh, I lost him. Where'd he go? Now I'm scared. He's up here on the mountaintop alone. <laughs> He's running around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Running out through the field. Maybe he needs a ride back to town. Um, I'm going to go see if I can catch up with him. Hey, buddy. Hey, come back. I got to go get my cell phone and give him a call. Let me go do that. See if he needs a ride back. It's the least we could do. Oh, no way. He doesn't need a ride. He brought his tractor up. Yeah, he's only leaving the trailer here. That's what it is. He's going back. He was just checking it out. Okay. All right. We'll leave him alone then. Anyways, all right, I am going to run over here and jump on Big Green, hit the 8 Series, and we're going to get some plowing done. It is time to uh, stop messing around, start fertilizing, and start sowing. So I'm going to go do that, and I will catch up with you guys, hopefully, when this field is done or, or close to being done. That way you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Look at that guy. He's got eggs. Where does he get eggs from? Huh. That's where in the world did he get those from? He put one box in the house already. He's like, I tell you what, Mormon men is like Santa Claus. <laughs> that guy's, <laughs> he's entertaining if nothing else. I love that guy. All right, let's see here. What was I going to do? Plow this field. I think that's what we got to do. Create a field on. Nope. Let's back up and try that again. All right. Like I said before, <laughs> what crazy man went running across with the eggs. I am going to jump on this, uh, knock some of this out, and we will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right. We're just about done. Got the two fields merged. Have to finish plowing four here. Uh, knock it out. We'll finish plowing. We'll fertilize and go ahead and cultivate fertilize again then when we plant with our new uh, cedar that we got from farmer men it also fertilizes i believe so that'll be our three states on the grass um hopefully that'll take care of everything uh should we need to weed i mean i'm sure we'll need to weed just look at this field right here um we have we have a weeder so we got that part covered and lime we have that covered okay so i think we're i think we're okay now i think we're starting to get there so um yeah like i say pretty busy day we started off selling our eggs whatever happened there <laughs> we're not sure yet but we'll definitely keep an eye on that and yeah i uh, went and bought a cedar we did a whole lot of plowing and uh yeah yeah i think we're ready I think the next episode will take care of um, planting the grass and we'll move over to field two and and plow that up and put uh, put weed in there so yeah we got a pretty good plan we're actually making progress now it feels like um, I've been on this map quite a while now it feels but uh, feels like the first couple episodes all I did was drive around and and move stuff up and down the mountains so I think I think we're good now we got, got should have what we need should be good to go um yeah yeah i think that'll do it we're gonna call it an episode um thanks for coming and hanging out with me i am golf cart jockey and i want you to have a good day